dreams recently about all of the frugal, fun, fantastic things that we can do with stenciling in our home for outfits. There's so many applications for stenciling. So that's what these recent live streams, uh, it's all about creativity and we're going to keep exploring all kinds of creativity. Uh, Sue Spencer said, hello, Claire. Hey, Sue Spencer. <laughs> nice to know you're there. It's such a wonderful way to connect with people and walking lightly on the planet while doing it because we're not driving anywhere and most people are too far to walk to their houses. But um, it's really sweet to connect and uh, I love this way of being ecological and economical and that's what creativity is all about for me using the inexhaustible resource of our imagination and the other inexhaustible resource is love so love the work you do love your life love your own imagination and love sharing it with others that's what the creativity show is all about and we're going to show you today these four kimonos here, I am stenciling to represent winter, spring, summer, and autumn. The winter one is either done or close to done. I like to have my creative expression be an adventure for me, so I don't map it all out and decide everything uh, beforehand, I take it like a journey to a place I've never been before, which is what creativity is and why it's so joyous. Um, so winter is crane and evergreen symbolized by air, silver, blue. Spring will be symbolized by fish and uh, it's going to be the wild iris summer dragonflies and grasses autumn maple leaves and a deer and autumn i'm going to pick a deer image and draw it in front of the camera in front of you and turn it into a stencil design and show you how the stencil is created and how it's used when i stencil it on the kimono. This, this performance piece that I'm going to do the entire thing in front of the camera, the four season uh, outfits, I guess we call them costumes if it's a performance, and floor to ceiling panels with the four seasons represented on each one, winter, air, spring water, summer earth, autumn fire, and there will be spoken word poetry that will turn into, I'm going to, like I like to do, just follow the inspiration and let the spoken word turn into a chant or a song or some kind of music that will have a its own natural rhythm and uh, I like primitive. My mother called me the elegant primitive. She was classically trained from the first school in the nation to give a fine art degree, and I'm self-taught. She would not, even when I would get annoyed at my own process and ask her for technical information, she'd always say, dear, you have your own way, and you get, you trust uh, the process and that is what works for you you'll figure it out if you learn the rules you just have to forget them so she wouldn't give me technical uh, knowledge that I thought I wanted at the time and now these many years later I am so grateful that she was so wise and uh, she let me follow my own inspiration and follow my own instincts to bring out my authentic expression. 
So one of the things that's natural to me is using all of the art forms. When I taught in my 20s, asked to be an artist in residence for the schools and work at mental hospitals and drug rehab, I wrote a curriculum called Dancing into the Arts because I love mixing it all up. I love, you know, dancing to a story and doing a painting about the dance and then writing a poem about the painting and making music about the, the poetry. All of it, any of it, just keep exploring, keep our minds curious, um, good for not getting uh, dementia, good for happiness, good for our budget walking lightly on the planet, good for the planet. So I'm all about using our inexhaustible resources, imagination, and love, and having fun while we're doing it. So the four kimonos in the four seasons, the four seasons of Florida ceiling panels, which are in our carriage house turned into a studio, and then the spoken word, turned into a soundtrack music that will be the inspiration for the dance that I am looking forward to doing on roller skates because that is one of my loves in life and I'm so happy we turned our carriage house into a studio that can also serve as a small doable space for a skating rink. So I'm going to use the visual arts, the auditory arts, the movement, the word, and my technically facile son, Bodhi, the movie maker, that's his creativity. That's his YouTube uh, channel, Bodhi, the movie maker. Mine is, or ours is, the creativity show. But he's going to record the whole thing, the whole process, and turn it into a performance piece. I got this inspiration when I was 18 and the only time in my life I thought I wanted a degree and to go to school so I went to a Wallace University where you write your own degree program so very much like me what did I do I went out in the woods by myself and fasted to write my degree program and it was called the study of movement and for me at the time it was all about taking something I was moved by and letting it move me through the visual, sound, word, um, and all of the art forms, the music, making this inspiration an example of creativity flows through all of us if we let it. And it can flow in any direction we choose and we don't have to be a master of that medium to create meaningful art. And the only thing I ever can be a master at and ever want to be is just being me. So I give myself permission to, to paint and write and dance and uh, make music with my bamboo flute and simple percussion instruments and ambient sounds from nature. And um, if it moves me, chances are there's other people that's going to move, and that means it's art. So essence of everything inspired by the four seasons is a full circle for me to come from so many years ago thinking, well, you know, this is the degree program that I'm going to follow, but my degree panel said, we don't understand your degree plan, but we trust it because we trust you and we trust that you can educate yourself and that you're following your own path and it is valid and beautiful and worthy. Um, but I said to myself, borrowing money from the government so that I could pay for the tuition of the school for them to tell me that I could educate myself didn't make sense to me. So. I dropped out and continued doing what I do. And apparently when I came to Duluth um, and people asked, nine people in one day asked me to teach at an outdoor live music party where everybody was dancing. 
And I wrote a curriculum, Dancing into the Arts, as I mentioned, and made up a career I still do, which is called a creativity coach, because I love sharing the inspiration that we all have inside of ourselves, the creativity we can all channel with others. As much as I love creating, I love um, helping other people find their creative inspiration within and channeling the beauty in the world around us and in each other and in ourselves through art, through any any creative expression that gives us joy or gives us a sense of purpose. So the other thing about essence of everything, weaving the arts, fulfilling a dream, an inspiration that I had so many years ago. It's a full circle and it's a demonstration of never give up your dreams, um, keep going. Uh, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as we keep believing in ourselves and the inspiration, we can create something beautiful. Uh, and if, if it only delights us, that's enough. But chances are, if it delights us, there'll be others it delights. So I'm looking forward to sharing the painting, the, the floor to ceiling screens in front of you and turning the poetry that I've written on the four seasons into music and then a choreography for the dance with the four primary colors, the blue for winter, green for spring, yellow for summer, and red for autumn. So it has the four primary colors, north, west, south, east. It will have four metals, silver, bronze, gold, copper. It'll have the four creatures, the cranes, fish, insects, and the deer, mammal, and it'll have the four botanicals, the evergreen, flowers, grasses, and maple leaves of autumn. So there's so many things that it uses the four seasons as uh, symbols. Um, for these different aspects of our beautiful natural world. So let us show them, Bodhi, the creating the, the winter kimono. And uh, he, I, when I'm painting, I love to be silent. When I'm creating, I'm I'm silent. So I like to show these process. Um, well, you're showing the four seasons, but that's fine. So there's winter. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. Show that. So that's the winter stencils, the cranes and evergreens. And then there's spring the fish and the wild iris. And then there's summer, the grasses and dragonflies. And then there's coming up is autumn here, which is the maple leaves. And I'm going to draw the deer in front of you. Nancy Dunn said you have so much talent. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate that. Um, I think we, we, all, we all are talented. And I had um, the blessing that came along with the disadvantage of my challenging upbringing is I had the advantage of finding creativity as a safe place through the chaos of my upbringing where many people know I, I wrote my memoir because people asked me to because they said my stories helped them and would help others. So it's called Incandescence, Rising Above Darkness. My family was so dysfunctional, alcoholism. My older sister uh, became a heroin addict. I raised her two sons later in life. Um, but early in life, no one noticed I stopped going to school at seven because I just disappeared into the fields and found safe places in nature to rest and 
replenish and I found the safety of creative expression and the joy and the healing that happens when we express any emotion we stimulate our immune system so if we can find a place to to be free to express our creativity we will discover we're all talented we all have creativity within us and my difficult upbringing had the advantage of giving me the space to find creativity and to do it where, whenever I could, however I could, with whatever I had available throughout my life. So um, I do believe, and I taught every grade level, and you know, every first grader, second grader can dance color, can tell stories about emotions, can can paint their feelings. And the older we get, the often we hear critical things and we take it in and we shut down, but we can go back in there and give ourselves permission to explore our own inspiration and curiosity. And the more we express it, the more it will flow and the more um, talent we will uncover that we all have. So can we show the painting of the, the winter kimono bow? So he's going to get that video that shows the stencil process, which I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to draw the deer, turn it into a stencil design, and um, we're going to show you how the stencil's cut, and then I'm going to paint it on the autumn kimono, all of it in front of you. So are we showing the, there we are. Here we are showing the pen, the stenciling of the winter kimono. And then we have a real treat for you after this video. Um, I love stencils because you can use them on walls, on platters, on clothes, fancy, or, or on a t-shirt, practical. Um, you can use them to make signs. You can like I said, freezes on walls I've got in the other videos. All of these live streams are on the Creativity Show, and you can see many pillows, duvet covers, fabrics, curtains, scarves, so many things I've done with stencils that um, are frugal, and I like to call it fine and frugal fast and you can use stencils over and over uh, for the rest of your life and i am going to put a collection because now i have 300 stencils i've designed together that people can purchase so that if they don't want to draw their own and cut their own um, they can they can purchase mine and it's all pretty much a hundred percent based on nature my muse um and uh so there but there's so much beauty and great design in nature that uh it, you can ne you'll never run out of ideas if, and inspiration if nature is your muse as it is mine so now let's show what um my son Bodhi is so supportive that he was willing to model the winter kimono uh, and we got some video of that so let's show that if you would be so kind and what a supportive son I have and uh, here's Bodhi in the winter kimono and uh, <laughs> I just think yeah with his Tai Chi outfit on underneath it. I think that's really lovely. And then he's going to also show the short jacket uh, that I used the cranes on after this second turn here. And there's the short jacket uh, with the cranes on it. So 
Um, I love multi-purpose, multi-expression, uh, and I love that these um, kimonos, jackets, the clothes I'm making with these stencils look good on a, a young, tall male and can look good on a mature, not so tall female. And uh, we, we have many uses for them. So that's, um, that's what I'm up to. And I hope there's something here that inspires you to enjoy your imagination and find the courage to uh, express it and the confidence to share it with others. The world needs all of our point of views, all of our aesthetic, uh, the more of our stories, the more of our essence and our style that we share with the world, the richer the world is. And diversity is a sign of health in any environment. So let us, let us accept ourselves and let us accept one another and enjoy all the diversity in humanity and enjoy creating for the joy of it. So until next Saturday, two o'clock on Saturdays, please um, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I'm a typical artist that's terrible at self-promotion, so I don't know how to get the word out there about what I'm doing, but hopefully it's meaningful to you and you will share it with others. And I'd love to get suggestions of what you want to see. I've made jewelry, dishes, uh, fine art, furniture, wardrobe. I've What haven't I done? I've never designed a car. I have designed wine labels, so <laughs> books. There's so much um, creativity I'd love to share with you. So I'd love to hear what you want to see. Any suggestions you have for stencils, uh, which I'm going to continue doing for some time here. Any suggestions you have of the creativity you'd like to see here at the Emerald Lady. Uh, anything from my collection of hundreds and hundreds of images I've painted and drawn and prints. I love to get your feedback. So thanks so much for tuning in and until next Saturday, stay creative, stay curious and uh, stay happy. <laughs>